Have you ever wondered how these items actually come about? Well, I have too. Let's find out. Anyway, if you do go on to enjoy the video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We're on the road to 10k and every subscriber helps. Also, you should leave a like on the video. It helps me know if you actually like the video or not. And also, it boosts the video in the algorithm. It's a win-win. Finally, you should join the Discord server. It's linked in the description. There's no reason not to join. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you all do enjoy. Now, I'm personally happy with regular Mythic Recombobulated Armor. But obviously, for some people, this just isn't enough. To be honest, this has always just been very mysterious to me because I always just used to think, how does this even come about? Like, how is this a thing? Like, it's almost as if they just added this rarity out of nowhere and um, there was just no explanation. To be honest, it's mostly just cosmetic. If you actually look at the differences in, um, say, for instance, this piece of Shadow Assassin armor, to this piece, there's not really much difference in the stats other than, like, a 650 mil price difference. Now, obviously, these items are basically just collector's items. I mean, that's all there is to it. And other than them being Shadow Assassin pieces or there was Necron pieces too, it's just cosmetic. Now once you've completed a dungeon and you go to the chest, say for instance if you get a piece of Shadow Assassin armor or with that armor, that could then be turned into Necron or Storm or whatever you'd like to do with it, there is a 1 in 100 chance for that to actually come recombobulated. Now if you think about it, that's quite rare in itself, like how often do you actually get that drop? 1 in 100, it's, you know... Now if you think about it, that's quite rare in itself, like 1 in 100, how often do you actually get the drop in the first place? And as you can see here, the auto recombobulator gives you a 1% chance of dropping something that's recombobulated essentially. Which in other words is a 1 in 100 chance. And for instance on a Shadow Assassin piece, um, you can frag it. So that would increase its rarity by 3. But like I said before, this is incredibly rare. So you've got a 1 in 100 chance for it to come recombobulated, you've got a 1 in 100 chance again for it to drop recombobulated through your auto recombobulator. So that's already a 1 in 10,000 chance. Obviously fragging is quite straightforward, but you have to consider that you actually have to drop the item as well, which is obviously very rare. I mean, Shadow Assassin boots, maybe not too rare, but for, for instance, like a chest plate, you know, that's quite rare. And that would absolutely explain why there's only boots on the market. Anyway, there's not really much more to this video. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. To be honest, I've always wondered how Divine Armor comes about, so um, I've almost answered one of my own questions too. Anyway, I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.